today we're gonna have a dinner with my daughter mm -hmm. Christina and she's gonna show you know how like I have um, sukiyaki sauce that is already finished and then today she's gonna show you how we eat it or what we eat with yes okay let's eat with me come on guys hi everybody so um, we're gonna be taking a new approach on this this is mm -hmm. actually one of my favorite meals that my mom um, makes um, this is called sukiyaki also known as dot scene um, so you know before we get started I would like to um, have a drink with my mom cheers, cheers. let's pour it into oh, she got here right now so we can be fancy <laughs> mom I know you don't drink so get your beer cut and just just tilt your cup a little bit. She said it's make the food taste better that way, so I'm gonna try. Is that true? It tastes better, and I like to have beer with my meals, so we will, and it just, it will taste good with this meal. It's, it's nice and light, too. I'm gonna finish this drink. I let her do the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Okay, so this is, um, Yucky. and so we're gonna get started here we have all right so we have our griddle and I have the heat on I've had it on for a while and so we're gonna get started now so the main ingredients whenever you're gonna get started on sukiyaki which again is my ultimate favorite dish birthdays holidays mm -hmm. I asked my mom for this um, this is her suki sauce if you're lucky you may or you may not get the recipe I'm still you know in the works of talking to her about not sharing it but it might come out so this is the suki sauce um, traditionally, people do not add um, egg roll sauce with their suki, but um, my mom makes this really great egg roll sauce. It's like sweet and spicy. So we do like to mix a little bit of it into our um, suki sauce. And of course, you have all your vegetables here. Um, what mushrooms are these, mom? They're, they, you have your mushrooms, your red onions, basically. The, uh, the great thing about uh, suki is you're able to use, um, you know, your favorite vegetables any and vegetable. throw it on the grill. Basically any vegetable you want. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, you want to stay with the Napa cabbage, um, the broc choy. You have your uh, broccoli, your cauliflower, and then, of course, um, your sliced uh, beef steak mm -hmm. with your shrimp, your calamari, um, and all your other mussels and all those other great shellfish seafoods. Anything you have in your feet, you it, yeah. it's good. <laughs> Absolutely. I, the, the main thing that makes this ingredients, like even if you didn't want to have all the vegetables, is you could have your suki sauce and sometimes when I'm working, I just whip up a quick stir fry. So enough talking. We're going to go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'll hungry. Let, yeah, same. I'll let you throw down the butter. Okay. I'm going to put the juice. A lot or just a little bit? Just do a lot. I'm gonna just okay. get it all going. I like the lots of butter going. Yeah. Butter is make that uh, taste better and you know, better too. I always put the uh, cauliflower down. And when you're making this meal, it's best to, how do I say? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, you wanna you take know, your time on this. Chill and talking. And I think mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite things about this meal is not only is it fresh, but we're just hanging out and you know waiting for our food to cook enjoying small bites and um it's fresh and i get to eat all my vegetables so it's a win-win let's throw this in and so, that, that's how all my children love to eat so they like to come home and feel like homemade cooking so that's what i do good food for them you know something like that So we're just going to get all this cooked up. You want to use um, butter to season your um, season the grill so it doesn't stick. So I shouldn't have double dipped that. So I'll make sure to keep my chopsticks in my bowl. What are we missing? Is there any vegetables that are missing on that you want? I like these long ones right here. What I like called? that purple onion. You anyway. want the red onion? Yes. My favorite is onion. Okay. What is this called again? Water crescent plant? I'm not I'm sure. I'm going to cut bone. Cut bone. Cut bone. Okay. Cut bone. 
Here's your onions. You want to put that with your yeah. seasoning? And also my jumbo big uh, spring onion too. Which, oh, the spring onion? Yes. There you go. I know you like to eat them. It's, uh, this. This I eat a lot of onion. This make you smart. So. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom already beat me to the seafood down here. She got some steak. Um, and the most important, I don't think I uh, mentioned the clear glass noodles. Um, let me get some butter down. I know this looks like a lot of butter. I mean, it's healthy to an extent. You don't have to use the butter if you don't want to, but I feel like you would really be missing out if you didn't. I'll just grab handfuls, take it with me. This is me and my natural habitat. This hand thing. I washed my hands, okay, before I came to the dinner table. No judgment. Mm -hmm. You should always wash your hands before you eat. I'm not wasting food. Toss that back up there. Ooh, this is, smells so good. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit. Try to get, now that everything is proportionate on our grill, um, the concept here really is to try to cook this in, in order to where, you know, your veg, your hard vegetables are cooked first, your meat, like this is, you know, I like it kind of medium rare. So you don't want to overcook that. You have your shrimp and your mussels and stuff like that. Like this here, I can cut like four hand open and put it in like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you love the mushroom. Well, let's make a sock. Oh yeah, most yeah. importantly, guys, we're getting sidetracked here, trying to figure out what vegetables um, we want to throw on the grill. There's just so much to choose from. Mm -hmm. But as we're waiting for this, like, yeah, let's definitely get started on the sauce. I just want the original. Um, so let's get some of her this. This is so good, guys. I mean, I've been to many Asian restaurants, and I don't. I mean, y'all have seen my mom's videos. She's a great cook. But, I mean, she's master at this sauce. Like, if you go to any restaurant, just the texture in that, it's so hard to find. I've never had suki sauce like this. Rich peppers, rich sesame seeds. Um, just, here you go, Mom. Thank you. I'm over here drooling. Let me hurry and make mine. And yours? You're going to make with the um, sweet and sour sauce? Like yeah, so salt, right? I like to do the um, original suki sauce. So I like to do the original um, suki sauce, and I love this sauce, so I'm going to put a lot. And um, this is spicy egg roll again. Traditionally, I mean, this may look weird to some uh, people who have this dot scene before, but I like to add a little bit of egg roll sauce in there. And again, this egg roll sauce my mom makes is, it's sweet, but it's spicy, and it kind of loosens up the thickness of the suki sauce. For the people who like that uh, yeah, it, sweet I, and sour, you know, a little bit. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do anything. Um, one thing, you know, my mom's always cooked for us growing up, and I follow my taste buds. It may not be uh, traditional, but it tastes amazing. So once you mix it up, you can't really tell, but it does loosen up the texture. If you see my mom's and mine, hers is thick and mine's a little bit watier, you know, a little bit lighter. So now that you have your sauce started, you just take a sip of your adult beverage. That's good. And then we just eat it in sections here. My noodles are almost done. I like them. Uh, I like them to be crispy. So I'm gonna just keep letting them cook a little longer. So we just eat it, though. <laughs> yeah, we can eat as we go. But I do. I'm gonna wait for my noodles first. I'm gonna take my first bite with my lips the sick. Yeah. Mmm. 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 So good. I'm about to unleash the beast once he's cooked. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Hot. My brother's back there being dumb. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, my son just come home. Yeah, let's get him on. Mm -hmm. I'll try a bite. <laughs> I'm covering where I work because trains are trusted. Mm -hmm. Come on, let them know. No. <laughs> it's private. Guys, this. Mm. Um, gum. Gum. It's like gum. Yeah. So I know my mom does a lot of, um, you know, cooking videos where she's breaking down the ingredients for you and kind of taking you step by step. Mm -hmm. um, one thing about this that's so awesome is like, seriously, guys, get your vegetables. Main ingredients have your sauce. If you don't, want, if you're not a steak fan, focus on the shrimp, and you can whip something up and bring some friends around, have some drinks, and have a great healthy meal, and just so quick. Um, you don't have to have the butter. Um, in my opinion, you'll be missing out. So if you're like on a special diet, you don't have to do the butter, but it it makes all the difference. So I'm still waiting on my noodles. Again, I like them a little bit brown and crispy, so I'm gonna keep letting them cook and probably just crank up the heat because I'm starving here. <laughs> I, I'm, I've got it at 400. We started at like 250 and I've had it all the way up to 400. So. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys here with us right now. Oh my. I might need some more steak. All right, so I'm gonna start here with the, I'm gonna drop some more meat because my mama beat me to it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get my own on there. I can wait while she's cooking, so I kinda keep eating I, and she keep cooking. So you really have to have some I have to, You have to hurry up if you're gonna eat this. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I learned, and this is a true story, it was on my birthday, and I wanted this as a meal, and I had all my friends and family over, and we had like 20 people at the table, and the birthday girl and the mom ended up being the, the sous chefs, uh, run, cooking everybody, 20 people this meal on like two separate griddles. So honestly, like I love to share food, but maybe this is best shared like with no more than like five, six people because whoever the cook is in the group is gonna be stuck at the griddle cooking. So other than that, everybody has to take turns to cook. Exactly. <laughs> and nine times out of 10, on like that, it right? doesn't happen. <laughs> so when I say I want the noodles crispy, as you can see here, see how it's got like a burnt crispiness to it? Those noodles are is what we're aiming for. So I have mine ready, so I'm gonna start eating now. I've been starving. I like my veggies a little burnt too. I know that sounds weird, but they're it's really good when it's crispy. But I'm gonna just start on my bite already. My sauce. Oh look, what they have. Yeah. This is my sauce bowl, so I can double dip almost. You can't be Asian and not know how to use chopsticks, Mom. <laughs> it's just not possible. Let me ask. <laughs> I think I have too many adult beverages. I don't know where I want to start, so I'm just gonna like put that on there. Let's get messy here. Mmm. Get that. Mmm. It's so good. This sounds so bad, but I can probably just drink this off. I know, right? Probably so bad. <laughs> so that's how I like to eat my, I like it spicy. Wow. Every time I eat, I just drop my uh, vegetable in like this, and then taste, take time. Mmm, 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 mmm. Tap line, tap line. You wanna get, you wanna get a little bit of everything and not burn your mouth off. So I got some steak, some veggies. Oh, you know what? I have to tell the story. I'm neglecting my shrimp. How long I stopped to learn how to cook this recipe for hot sauce? 
I live in Laos. I mean, I'm born in Laos, right? And when I'm all my life, go to the restaurant, I love it so much, right? And then I left the country about eight years old. And then I want to eat again. And I keep like trying the recipe uh -huh. many times, right way, wrong way. And I keep letting my mom taste them over, mm -hmm. over again until I hit the jackpot. I told my mom, so what did this one taste like? She said, this is it. How you do it? So I start to cook like this thing. And can you say this is great grandma's favorite food? Uh, my my mom. Your mom? My mom. Your mom's mom. Mm -hmm. My mom swears up and down. I'm reincarnated from her great grandmother because this is what's her favorite food. And not only that, a lot of little personality traits that go along with not who I am. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Just tomboy, but most yeah, I love food, and this is like all my favorite foods happen to be my great grandmother's favorite food. So I just think that's like a crazy story because like the first time I ever had sukiyaki was like automatic love, and I mean I'm telling you guys, it's just my favorite food. Like if you ask me what my last meal would be, this is it. That good. It's that good. <laughs> that good. Like you can go to a hibachi restaurant, and it just it won't even compare. Mm. Well, she went to the restaurant one time. She had to pack my hot sauce, sneak into the restaurant, and then she called me mom. That is so good. And I said, how do you people beat my sukiyaki sauce? She said, basically, I'll stop by your house and pick up, what, you know, in sit rock bag and go to the restaurant with my hot sauce. Remember that? I do that. I still yeah. do that. So, funny story, actually. We were in Austin with a group of friends and we were eating at um, a, a famous ramen shop. I mean, it's pretty popular out there. And they have these little um, spicy bombs that they sell for like, you know, $2. But to me, it's just not spicy. So my friends, they love my mom's chili sauce. We snuck, we didn't even, actually we didn't even care. We didn't even sneak it in. We went out, we had a good time. Uh -huh. We put your jar, we had it in our purse. <laughs> we took it in there and then like when our food came, we just threw it on the table and we started eating seasoning our ramen with your hot sauce and they were kind of like at first they were a little taken back by it like you brought sauce in here but when they saw how colorful and how much better and how much spicier the soup was they were mm -hmm. like that looks amazing I wish we sold that here but like at first I was kind of like oh my god this is so embarrassing but I was like you know what who cares I'm, it needs this sauce to be good so Stay. Mama's got a huge shrimp right mm -hmm. there. She's got a colossal shrimp. Mm -hmm. With gumbo shrimp. Mm -hmm. This. Mm -hmm. Just use your hands, Mama. That thing's big. I know, right? Yeah. You just got it. Look. Oh, hot sauce. Wow. Got amazing sticky sauce on there. Mom, <laughs> That's how you eat it. Oh. Ooh, see that? Beat that in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, stop that. Mmm.
Mm. Yeah. My name is mushroom. Mm. Mushroom is really good. Cung tôi một ngày có chừng sòn khăn phá thì thôi. Cleanses your palate for the next bite. I feel mm -hmm. like. No, I like, oh, like crisp one. Just like mm. eating crawfish and drinking beer. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Chug it. Just <laughs> okay. tap, tap, tap. That's good, Daddy. Oh, God. That was funny. At first, I was a little embarrassed, and I was like, you know what, I don't even care. So sometimes I take my hot sauce with me to the big restaurant too. You support not to do that. You get in trouble if they caught you, right? But I have the same experience. I just pour it into my food. Mm -hmm. I think that's just an Asian thing. I mean, you, we can't live without our sauce. Don't give us like some nasty sauce and tell us to eat our food with it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I think that's any Asian that knows good food, they're they're not gonna eat the restaurant sauce, period. I think a lot of kids relate to you because their mom always sneaks the sauce to like a buffet, you know, like a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. I sit by the, uh, you know, oriental table and the other side, everybody pass out the hot sauce to each other and I like, I keep looking, oh, I want some, but I can't, you know, I don't know them, so I'm you like. You know what, if you pay for a meal, and you have to have that sauce to make it like perfect, do it. <laughs> My friends at work love your sauce too. Mm. Mm. They have they have not had the suki yet. They've asked me about it, but we, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just being stingy about it. <laughs> I don't want to share it. Well, you can be stingy now. Everything I cook is on YouTube, so we share everybody, the whole wide world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. She share. Maybe. <laughs> She's trying to convince me. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So we're gonna kind of like enjoy our dinner tonight, the last of it. But I thank you so much for watching, guys, and try to cook this at home, okay? And um, bring all your family on the table. Like I say, every time I'm talking about food, I think about love. The love comes from my heart, from my family, and I share with everybody. And I teach my, my, you know, children, <laughs> and 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 my grandson. You know, I want that love continue to on and on. Okay, so I want you guys to try that. Okay, cheers. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Please subscribe. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye. bye. Like on. Mm -hmm. What you said. Can you put them? Bye. Lego. Lego. Sabay di. Say say. Sabay di. How are you today? Sabay di. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to Gigi Last Kitchen. I have a special guest today. It's my daughter.